Let's say I make a copy of this array and then let's make a change to the copy. When I log this out, you can see that the original arrays of value has changed. This is because this copy is actually just a shallow copy. Now let's create a shallow copy of this object and by just reassigning the value to a new variable. Now, if I change world to universe and then log the original, you will also see that the original's value has changed as well. I'm creating a method called copy deep, which takes an input object. This will be recursive, so I need to do a check here at the top that says if input object is nullish or if type of input object is not equal object, we just want to return. Then what I want to do is create a variable called deep copy, which will be the placeholder for it. Then I'm going to use a for in loop to iterate over either the object or the array values. And then in the end, we're going to just return the deep copy. Below this method, I'm creating an array and an object like before, but this time I'm going to use the function we just wrote. Then let's reassign values in the copies and then log the originals and as you can see they retained their original values that is the difference between shallow and deep cloning objects